Question 6a. Aqueous solution of methanoic acid, propanoic acid, they are mixed together. An equilibrium is set up between the two conjugate acid base pair. Okay, part 1. Define conjugate acid base pair. Okay, very easy. Uh, the pair that differ of one protons only. Uh, for example, if let's say we have the methanoic acid with water, form this the salt and hydronium ion so we know that uh, this is one acid base pair because their difference is one proton right? so because this one release one proton and form this salt so they are the bronze uh, uh acid uh, conjugate acid base pair and of course this one is another uh, conjugate acid base pair right so uh, this is a very simple definition of the conjugate acid base pair which they differ of one proton. Um, part 2. Um, pKa of this uh, methanoid acid is 3.75 and uh, uh, pKa for this uh, propanoid acid is 4.87. Um, so we know that when the pKa is smaller, it's a stronger acid. Uh, Ka larger is a stronger acid. pKa smaller Okay, that acid is a stronger acid. So from here we know that because the pKa of this methanoic acid is smaller than the propanoic acid, so we know that it's a stronger acid. And this question asks complete the equation for the bonsted lorry equilibrium between the stronger uh, of these uh, two acids with water. Okay, so you choose the methanoic acid with water. Methanoic acid releases one proton and the H2O gains the proton. Uh, so this methanoic acid will form this uh, salt so this is a uh, conjugate acid base pair and uh, the H2O gains the proton to form hydronium ion this is another uh, conjugate acid base pair part B1 write an expression for the acid dissociation constant for potanoic acid um, so first you need uh, if you want you can uh, uh, write this uh, equation out uh, butanoic acid uh, dissociate to form this uh, the salt and uh, uh, this uh, proton or hydrogen ion. Um, so we know that for the Ka expression is the concentration of the salt times the concentration of hydrogen ion over the concentration of acid. Again, this is acid. This is the salt that produced. Okay, so therefore this is the expression. Is it? Part two. Um, so this calculation a bit uh, a bit uh, confusing, uh, but you if you do it step by step, it should be all right. Uh, the pKa for this butanoic acid is uh, four point eight two, and the pH given is uh, three point two five. Uh, so from this pKa and the pH, you can get two values. You can get Ka, and you can get concentration of hydrogen ion which is uh, needed uh, for the uh, this uh, calculation okay so first uh, try to get the uh, ka uh, so ka is uh, because pka equal to negative log ka so ka therefore is uh, uh, this one after you calculate you get uh, 1.5136 times 10 of negative 5 ph is given 3.25 so therefore we know that concentration of hydrogen ion is uh, 10 power negative uh, 3.25 so you get uh, uh, 5.6234 times 10 power negative 4 um, and please uh, uh, understand because this is a pure acid solution uh, once the acid dissociate okay let's say now uh, this pure acid dissociate when x mole of this uh, uh, potanoic acid dissociate it will form x mole of the salt and x mole of H plus. Uh, for a pure acid, the salt concentration is equal to the uh, the uh, this uh, um, hydrogen ion concentration. So therefore, you just uh, uh, put this one. Ka equal to the uh, this uh, the concentration of hydrogen ion square because now the concentration of hydrogen ion and the salt they are equal so you just put square here 
and over the concentration of the acid so you will get uh, 0.0209 uh, mole per dm cube uh, so this is a concentration of acid uh, uh, in this uh, acid solution part c1 define buffer solution uh, very easy a solution that resists change in ph when a small amount of acid and base they are added to it okay this is standard definition of this buffer right resist ph change yeah? uh, for part two uh, this calculation is uh, more complicated than uh, just now because you need to uh, back calculate the initial concentration um, now we have two uh, solution acid solution and the salt solution which add together um, 600 cm cube of acid solution uh, this one this concentration we need to calculate uh, at the end of the question and uh, 400 cm cube 0.125 mole per dm cube of the salt solution so acid and salt when they mix up it will form buffer so uh, before you start of course you need to know uh, what is the ph of the solution because from this pH, you can get concentration of hydrogen ion. And the Ka is given 1.78 times 10 power 95. Okay, so now let's start. Uh, for this calculation, you need to uh, at least know the Ka expression. Uh, because now it's using ethanoic acid. So ethanoic acid uh, is dissociate, is from this salt and H+. So uh, Ka therefore is concentration of the salt times concentration of H plus over concentration of the ethanoic acid. So means you need to get the concentration of the acid in the buffer. Then you can back calculate the initial concentration here. So now the main focus is to get this concentration first. In order to get this uh, acid concentration, you need to figure out the concentration of the salt in the mixture, in the buffer solution, and the concentration of H+. Okay, the concentration of H+, you can get from the pH, because pH is given 5.7, uh, so you can get the concentration of hydrogen ion, which is uh, 1.995 times 10 positive 6. Okay, this one done ready. Ka is given 1.78 times 10 power negative 5. So now you need to get uh, the salt concentration in the buffer. Uh, so because initial concentration already given, uh, because it's 400 now mixed up with 600 to form uh, 1000 cm cube. So means it's being diluted. So it's being diluted by which factor? By this factor. So because 400 now is uh, diluted to thousand cm cube so you need to use 400 over thousand times 0 0.125 the initial concentration then you can get 0 0.05 mole per dm cube okay after you get the salt concentration substitute all this value uh, i mean this one this value okay this value this value and this value into Ka expression, then you get this. So get the concentration of the ethanoic acid that after mixing means inside the buffer solution. Uh, so you get 5.604 times 10 positive 3. This is a concentration of ethanoic acid in buffer. Now you need to get initial concentration of the acid. Uh, so means it's more concentrated. More concentrated by which ratio uh, so you need to use a uh, thousand over 600 because you need to back calculate because initially you 600 and it makes up to 1000 so therefore to become 1000 therefore uh, you need to use uh, 1000 over 600 times the uh, concentration of the acid in the buffer so you get a larger concentration which is 9.34 times 10 pound negative 3 so this is the answer Okay, part D. A fuel cell is an electrochemical cell that uh, can be used to generate electrical energy by using oxygen to oxidize a fuel. 
Uh, methanol acid is being investigated as a fuel uh, in the fuel cell. When cell operates, uh, ethan methanol acid is oxidized to carbon dioxide. The other half cell uh, at the cathode, so is uh, uh, the oxygen, which uh, is reduced to uh, H2O. Okay, this one, uh, in this fuel cell, the overall cell reaction is same as that for the complete combustion of the methanol acid. Uh, part one, deduce the half equation for the reactions at the anode. Um, so cathode already given, and uh, anode means uh, the oxidation half cell or half equation. So already told you the methanol acid oxidized to CO2. So first you start from here. Methanol acid from CO2, then you just balance it. Uh, oxygens already balanced, two oxygens, carbon balance already, oxygens uh, balanced. Now you need to balance hydrogen. So you balance hydrogen using hydrogen ion. Put the 2H plus on right hand side. And after that, balance the charge plus two electrons. So you get the complete half equation. For the part two, uh, calculate the volume in cm cube of oxygen used that a current of 3.75 ampere is delivered by uh, the cell for 40 minutes. Assume the cell operate at room condition. Uh, first, uh, of course, you need to start with the Q equal to IT. Q means the, the charge that used for this uh, uh, reaction. Um, after that, uh, you need to uh, calculate the uh, this uh, it uh, okay to make it fast you can uh, use this uh, uh, nzf equal to it n is the most uh, that produce and uh, z is the uh, electrons that involved uh, is four okay because it's produced oxygen it needs four electrons is it um, after that uh, this is a Faraday constant 96500 equal to the I. I is given uh, 3.75 ampere times the time in second 40 minutes times 60 second so uh, uh, means you get uh, this uh, this one in second All right okay um, after that the most you get is 0 0.02332 moles so this is the uh, oxygens that produce and it's asking the volume of oxygen. So you just need to use uh, the moles times the molar volume, 24,000 cm cube, you get 560 cm cube. Okay, that's all, thank you.